safe from the redneck garage working on the Toyota truck I think there comes a time in just about every project where you're like gah I gotta work on that thing again so I'm not really that excited about working on the truck today but I gotta get over the hump where I feel like I'm going downhill rather than uphill um, it's looking a lot better let's take a look at where we're at so after all that sanding, I got everything pretty much wet sanded down, ready for paint. I've got to wash it one more time because it's been sitting a few days. Uh, I want to treat that little bit of rust right down there in that bottom corner on the driver's side. Other than that, ready to shoot some paint on this pig. Sometimes when you're going along with a project, you change your mind, you have a little bit, it's like, ah, I think I'm going to do it this way, and that's kind of where I'm at with this uh, on the painting of the cab. Not only is it 90 degrees and I'm sweating like a pig, but I think what I'm going to do is now that I've got all the color on, I'm going to go ahead and clear the inside of the cab and this front cut-in in the engine compartment, right? Right, very nice. Very nice. I'm super happy with that. Awesome. All right, so that's about half of what I wanted to accomplish today getting the inside of the cab painted and that front cowl painted. I got that done. Still got to do the roof and the jams, but it looks really good and I'm not going to complain about that. I'm sweating like a prostitute in a place of worship. Uh, some people say a whore in church, but it's hot out here. It's about 95 degrees, so. I'm going to let this clear dry up and then we're going to shoot the rest of it, but it won't be today. I'm going to let it harden up overnight, uh, but I'm happy with that. It's been so hot during the day, I thought I'd do a little bit of night painting. Got everything masked off, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot the rest of the cab, get done with it. Woohoo! Granny's here! Oh yeah. Finally, he's got a cold, so now he's all punified. Back side of it. Huh? I've had it for a week. Of Look how tan he is. He's been down in Florida. Yeah, Panama he City Beach for two weeks. He was he was out there with all the other old people. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Looks like a kind of a it's kind of pruned you up a little bit. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Look at the truck. Sweet. Look yeah. at those crow's nests around his eyes. Holy crap! Look at that. Dang! You should have worn some sunblock. I did. Hey, yeah, you should have worn some more. <laughs> <laughs> man, he must not feel good. He is nursing that bear, man. It's like he put, he's he's just milking it. I haven't been here that long. Oh, you've been here for long enough to drink a beer. Huh? Oh, yeah. Tell us the story, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him coughing. <laughs> yeah, Florida will make you sick. Huh? Yep. Florida will make you sick. Oh, work. Yep. All right. One more coat of color. And we are ready to clear coat this booger. But it's looking good. I'm happy. Woo wee! It's hot out here. I am sweating in my mask. That is a uh, nasty. <laughs> Starting to clear out really well. I got to do another shot on the roof. A good thick coat. Probably going to have a couple dry spots on that, uh, that roof itself. And that's okay. I'm going to buff it out. Uh, kind of anticipating that everything else should be pretty close uh, to getting covered and clear so I'm excited about that so moving along I waited to do the bottom little section there because that's the part you're gonna hit with the hose and I figured I'll wait to get it uh, cleared out as soon as I get everything else done but it's starting to clear out really nice I'm very happy with that no runs yet of course, I haven't put the last coat on, but super cool. All right, it looks really good. I got a lot of clear on it. Um, 
The roof has three really good thick coats. So that'll uh, sand out and buffer real well without burning through. Looks good. Don't see any huge runs. Actually, I don't see any runs yet. Sure, there'll be one somewhere. But uh, super happy with that. Looking good, man. Everything glossed out well. Got a little bit of orange peel right in through here, and that's cool. I usually shoot um, the exterior parts. I do have a run right here. See it? I'll have to sand that out. That's okay. No problem. But the hard part looks good. The roof and that structure. Windshield goes where the windshield goes in. Looks super, super nice. So, couldn't be happier with that. Alright, so all you can do now is just let her dry up. Looks good. So, I wet sanded it and buffed it out. Looks good. So I'm done with the buffing. Looks really good. May hit it one more time with the uh, Ultra Fine. Now all I lack is getting two doors, a hood, and two front fenders painted. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be the end of the video. I made a lot of progress. I got everything buffed out as far as like the cab goes. I'm happy with that. Uh, so now we get to do the hood, the doors, and the two fenders and, and hopefully get moving on this thing. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.